Guy here, fully extended. Two. During phase three of the air assault school, the students have learned how to tie their hip repel seat, conduct a successful hookup, belay the fellow students, and actually conduct operations off the tower. So the students really receive three classes. First is called ground training. They re receive a belay class, which teaches the students how to safety for their other repellers. They also learn how to hook up to repelling ropes. Then they demonstrate that they can do these things on the ground, then a 15 foot slant wall, and then they move up to the tower. And they will repel off the tower five total times. Hollywood, which is dressed just in ACUs, and semi-combat, which is a load-bearing equipment and a rifle, and then full combat, showing they can repel as a full combat equipped soldier for the rucksack. All right, four point, go and grab it off the rope. So when they repel, they tie their hip repel seat. That gets inspected by a cadre member. Go up to the top of the tower. They'll be told to hook up. Hook up. Once they hook up, they'll place the ropes through their carabiner and lock your carabiners. We'll then get the commands to actually repel. Once they repel, they'll do their three breaks, which shows that they can stop and have control. And they'll come all the way down, belay for their other students, and make sure that they're safe and have a safe repel. This training is important because it gives unit commanders an option to insert by repelling, especially from aircraft. These students have to conquer their fears if they have any of heights, and it makes them more confident that they're able to be an asset for their unit. I just encourage anybody who's interested in trying to come earn their badge to come try out. Don't let a fear of heights stop you, you'll just overcome that.